guys, David Peterson, publicdomainphotography.com. I'm going to show you how to capture a drop in water, a moment in time, and then we'll have a look at the effects that we can create later. For this, I'd like you to set your camera to manual focus, and I'd like you to set the shooting mode to manual, um, single shot. We're going to be using a flash for this. Uh, so make sure your flash is activated and I'd like you to set your aperture to 4.5 and your shutter speed to 1 200th of a second. I'll get the, we'll go over to the sink now and we'll get the shot set up and I'll show you how to do it. Thanks guys. Alright guys, as you can see, the tap's all set up ready to go. You might see some flash here. so probably see a flash here this is all about timing guys so remember we've got shutter speed 1 200 and we've got our aperture at f4 to f5 manual mode shooting flash on I'll show you some shots in a minute guys just bear with me manual focus just nice and gently trust your eyes trust have faith in yourself get that nice and sharp Crisp in focus. As you can see guys, I've got the tap of the rhythm. It took me a little bit of fiddling around, but a nice steady rhythm. It gives you more opportunity to get that perfect shot. We'll go and have a look now at the processing and uh, hopefully give some good feedback. Uh, and then you can uh, have a crack yourself. We'll at take a technique. look at some of the outcomes now from the photography. Um, I took around about 30 photos in total. I've picked one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight that were okay. So you can see this effect, the water's pooling centrally. Um, there's a flat area at the bottom. You can see the reflection from the flash. This one captures the water coming up after it's hit in. It's kind of a rebound effect. Uh, just very, very slightly adjusted the, the file for the, the color. Um, temperature. This one you can see the drops dropping in. Um, nice area around the outside. Um, looks like a little bit of a whirlpool, some little bit of ripple effect. This one I particularly like. You can see the small splashes coming up all around. Then you've got that one big central splash. This almost looks like a liquid metal to me. And this is just what you'd get if you just put the tap on. Um, running water, just hit it in, lots and lots of little splashes. There's another one where it's rising up. I like this because there's multiple reflection angles and a single drop here um, captures it quite well. You can see it, some drops coming down. Now this is a bit blurred. If you had more, a little bit more time, slightly better lighting, then get yourself um, in there and uh, higher shutter speed if, if necessary but you'd need really good lighting for that especially indoors um, and, and not to use the flash and um, finally we've got a uh, just a bit of a crazy one this was with it the tap was actively running it's caught the bead as it's hit the water 
a few little explosions as it splash back up and knock back down I'll just quickly show you what happens when you indoor shot um, at 650 um, IS, uh, with a f-stop of 6.3 and shutter speed of 1640 1 640th of a second as you can see guys no good to anybody all right thanks for watching guys thanks for um contributing and look forward to seeing you at publicdomainphotography.com contribute some of your work to upload your photos all these images today and when i get around to it you'll be able to find on publicdomainphotography.com <laughs>